Let's have a look how much things are around here. £11.58 kilo. Wow. Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Another beautiful day from Misterton in the UK. More adventures ahead. Uh, not sure what we're up to, but I'm just going to have to tuck into a, a wonderful English breakfast. There we go. Got your eggs, your toast, your beans, your bacon, your mushroom. Very good service here. Anyway, just waiting for mum to get ready. And we'll head off into the glorious sunshine. Now, a lot of people have said you're, you're in your, you look like you're in your 70s. I'm in my 60s, actually. You're in your 60s. <laughs> I don't, I'm very sorry. Uh, but you used to be a model, didn't you? Look at this. Look, look. That was that was my mum in, in how old were you? That was when Michelle was three, I think. There's my sister on her on her wedding day, and that was your mum as well. These are my nephews, handsome boys. Is that you there? Is it? Wow, a bit of bit of a bit of a looker, mum. Goodness me. So how old are you? Sixty two. No, I'm eighty three. Eighty three, and you're sharper than me. That's for sure. There you are there. Is that on your wedding day? Yes. Well, we married in 1962. I can't remember how old it was in 1962. So you're a bit of a YouTube sensation, Mum. And uh, anyway, we're going to head off into the Somerset countryside. Wonderful sunny skies in Sherborne. Right, parking machine. Now, do you know where we're going, Mum? You're, you're an old yeah. hand in Sherborne. You love this place, don't you? We're turning left. Where are we going? We're turning left up here? Okay, I'll follow you. We passed a beautiful old, I think it was a, a pub on the corner here. Yeah, it was this old place. It's an estate agent. Let's have a look how much things are around here. We've got a three bedroom, two living room, two bathroom, going for £450,000. That's nearly half a million quid, over half a million dollars. What's this little one here? Looks like a bungalow. Four bedroom, three living room, two bathroom, £750,000. Approaching a million dollars. The price of properties around here are insanely high. And we've got a four bedroom here. For 725,000 pounds. Looks very nice. Very pricey around Sherborne Way. Some lovely old, uh, that's the top of the estate agents. Look at that. Beautiful old beams. Right. Off we go. This must date back, uh, I don't know, what do you reckon? 16th, 17th century? Defibrillator. It used to be, this is the old English telephone box, which is now an emergency uh, defibrillator. Goodness me, how, how times change, but handy if you need one. I don't know what day this is. It's gonna be old though. What a lovely town. There's an abbey to go to as well, apparently. What a surprise, these here alleyways. Could this be, I don't think this is the main abbey, but it looks pretty nice. What do we got here? Cheap Street Church. Yeah, just hidden off that main street. That's not the Abbey, is it? No. Well, it's still lovely. It is, it's similar to Thailand when you wander around and you walk down an alley and come across a temple. I can't keep up with my mum. She's just shooting around these charity shops. Are you asking me for fashion advice? It's lovely, isn't it? It is. Go on, how much is it? It's a wonderful shop, actually. It's almost got like a new age vibe to it. How much is that? Size three. How much? 14 quid. It costs 149 pounds. 
I stand back aghast. <laughs> really? 150 quid? This is a three. Bargain. Hand wash. So why is it that it's a velvet, is it? Or some gold lining? No. It's, it's not a charity shop then, is it? No. Not at those prices. You have to have a look at the Oh, yeah. Like I don't know if mum's got a hot day or something, but anyway. Power perfume, expensive tops. What do we got here? This one's sold. We got a half a million pound. It's a four bedroom, three stroke four bedroom. It's quite nice inside. An old cottage type place here. That's sold as well. So they're going 425 grand. Yeah, not cheap. Over half a million dollars. And we got a we got like a bog standard bungalow here. Two reception rooms, I don't know how many bedrooms. Dodgy looking garden, quarter of a million pounds. So you're gonna pay a bit. Well, the next time I'm in the UK, I've been busy this, this time with family, but I will try and look at some properties. And uh, she's still in there. I'm gonna have to remortgage the house again. All right, been here nearly, nearly an hour. How are we doing, Mum? Right. Let's go to the Abbey. And here we have the wonderful Sherbourne Abbey. Midday. Beautiful, isn't it? Here's the, uh, the Great War Memorial. These poor chaps. A lot of the regiments that went to fight in the Great War were in something called Powell's Regiment. So they were all friends from little villages dotted all around the UK and they went not knowing the horrific horrors they were going to face. Yeah, well, it's a lovely memorial just by this fantastic looking place. Uh, if, you're, if you're in the area, Sherbourne is worth a visit. But uh, the clothes are quite expensive. <laughs> They're wonderful, isn't it? If you ever pop inside, check it out. And these bishops, we've got one dating back to 918. Ethelbold. What have we got? We've got the 13th century. We've got John Poskin, 1529. And it goes all the way down to 2016. Karen Gore. Oh, it goes back a way, doesn't it? All right, let's take a look. Wow. It's quite wonderful. Isn't it? No dual pricing here, chaps. And you've got all these leaflets information in different languages, Ukrainian, Dutch, Japanese, Chinese, to help you. Fantastic. What's this here? Oh, this is the ceiling. You can see my old head. There you go, it's a closer look at the... It's amazing how they did things back then. Yeah. Beautiful. The pulpit. Where your bishop or your, your clergyman would give uh, give his readings. And look at that spiral staircase. So the organ would be nestled up there. And I bet that punches out some uh, some power. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, I don't know if I can get the camera up that high, the tiny little stained glass windows up there. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's places in the UK like this that I, I love, actually. It's a beautiful part of England, isn't it? I know I moan about the parking. And I know I moan about just being ripped off everywhere, which is true. I stand by my statement, but <sighs> if you're into your history, it it's fantastic. And we've got a museum if you're interested to know more. And uh, I'm not sure if there's an entrance fee, but the actual abbey itself, as I said inside, is uh, 
there's no charge. All those different languages, have they got Thai? Mm, no. There's a bit of action here, you've got a little market, vegetables. I'm not sure what this is. No yobbos or hooligans hanging about, which is nice. Apart from me. <laughs> fish, you get your fish up there, there's fishmongers. It's all happening in Sherbourne, Mum. Right, have you finished shopping yet? You're on a bit of a, a bit of a mission. Your your perfume and your. Yeah, right, we better head back before we have to <laughs> before we get clamped. Back to reality. There we go. We got the old English barbers. Seventeen quid, twelve quid if you are an old git. Not too bad. We're back at the accordion. Bit of abba on the accordion. You can't go wrong. It's lucky you haven't had any gin, you'd start dancing, wouldn't you? It's ABBA. It's your favourite. Oh, it's got a beat. Come on. Rocking. <laughs> Fantastic. <sighs> it's quite a steep hill. But we've got another telephone box here. Maybe, uh, maybe there's another defibrillator in there. Yeah, we back here? Yeah, we got we got one there. What is this? Oh, it's a post office. Post offices are a life staver now in, in England. Banks you don't well they don't do anything in the banks now. You've got to do everything on a machine. But the post offices service you, well they do with HSBC. And this is an actual British telephone box. And it looks like someone's taking a dump. Nice. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. And here we are at the wonderful Waitrose in Crewcare. Let's see how, uh, how much things have gone up. Got to keep up with Mum. She's pretty speedy. Right, I'm in the Waitrose toilet. I know, I do get requests. Oh, you got the door is locked when the red light is flashing. It's all very complicated. Anyway, I want to get out. How do I get out? There we go. Right, I've just spotted some dragon fruit. Now, I don't think you might have seen the yellow ones before. These are from Spain. You can pick these up in Thailand, the big pink ones, kilo for about a pound. These are three pounds, 65. Not only do they look a bit rubbish, they're also very expensive. What do we got here? We've got some tuna. This usually goes for about 40 baht in, in Thailand. How much is it here? One pound eighty. A bit pricey. Is that a special kind of tuna? Oh, it's olive oil. There we go. One pound twenty-five. Not a lot of difference on the tuna. How are we doing, man? That's looking pretty good. Have you got the gin in yet? Oh, you got your gin already, haven't you? Around here and you've got to get eggs. All right, got to get the pink gin. It's more important than the eggs, Mum. <laughs> there you go, Mum. I'm at 13 pounds, non alcoholic, alcohol free. Gin? <laughs> gin? <laughs> look, of, look of horror on your face. What have we got? I saw, I saw a Sing here. The Sing beer is going for two pounds ten. Is it the same? It looks, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know. Are you serious? They're out of pink gin. What about... <laughs> You've had it all, Mum. It's empty there, look. <laughs> what about lemon? Why don't you try the lemon? It's 15 pounds. It's on a deal. Well, that one Once you've got 14. tonic in it and you've had, had a few, it doesn't matter anyway, does it? I might have that one. Beef eater. Blood orange. 14 pounds. Look, there you go, look. Why don't you give it a go? I'll get it, I'll get it. There we go. Oh, try that one. Chicken breast, what are we looking at here? £11.58 a kilo. You really? Are they special, aren't they? No, it's just normal Waitrose. Pretty expensive, a lot cheaper in Thailand. Waitrose organic for six eggs, £2.15. What are you getting there, Mark? £3.20. Are they special? Birth of brands. Can't go wrong. 
Well, you don't want to know how much that was. That was horrible. Uh, things have gone up a bit, haven't they? Oh dear. Anyway, let's head back. Uh, we'll be back for a while. We've got another moody cat here, haven't we? This one's Boris. That's Boris, yeah. These cats are usually very friendly. He's a good boy. Uh, he's moody as well. So we had a nice day, didn't we? You've got changed into your garden we attire. And uh, yeah, the weather is, it's looking, it's very changeable. We were very lucky today. Now I do have some very intelligent subscribers. This pathway is apparently called an easement. And there's another word as well that I've forgotten I put down there. I'm not sure if they're both correct. But yeah, thank you for that. And uh, some people said, well, why did we buy the house if we didn't like the passageway? Well, it, it was my sister's and my parents bought it to come down here and so they could visit their grandchildren. There's mum doing the washing. Look at that, the box is on the line. So um, yeah, my sister moved to a lovely five bedroom farmhouse, not far, actually just yonder over the hill there in Holstock. It's a beautiful 15th century farmhouse went over there for my nephew's birthday yeah lovely place crazy dogs so yeah a nice day and uh i'll be heading back i don't know i've got train strikes i'm not going to moan too much in this video anyway we had a nice day didn't we i'm going to put my boxer shorts in the background there there we go <laughs> so do we recommend sherborne oh, as a place to visit it's lovely isn't it that's just lovely Fantastic. All right. Well, from from the YouTube sensation self <laughs> and me, I say stay safe, stay well, and see you in the next video.